today's fly is pretty much a Euro version of the gold ribbed hare's ear. We got typical hare's ear with the guard hairs and all of that for the tail and the hare's ear body material. But what's different about this is since this fly is going to ride upside down, I've got a wing case on that side of the fly, which the fish is going to see because it's going to be looking this way. And we've also got legs on it. So it's still going to drop and sink fast. It's going to be a little bit more realistic. So here's how you tie it. This one's really easy. We got black thread. We got a jig style hook. Our beads already installed. I'm just going to start the thread quick. And we've got a slotted bead. So I am going to get the bead into position and fix it with just a piece of lead free wire and get that in there and that down tight nip it at an angle so it makes a ramp and just get it all covered over with thread. Okay. Next, I got a piece of rabbit fur that has some really great guard hairs on it. So I'm gonna get some of those for the tail. And we're gonna go about that much. And I'm gonna trim it so it's just behind the uh, free wire, bind it down. Now I'm going to rib this with gold wire instead of uh, gold tinsel. I just kind of like that look better. So I'm going to put the wire in just behind the bead or behind the lead free wire. And I'm going to run that all the way to the back nice and tight. I always kind of tie stuff to hold up, so I like to have anything like that ribbing tied down pretty good. So next is just hair's ear dubbing. We'll grab a pinch of that. start bringing that on see how it looks we'll certainly have to add more and get a nice tapered body in that's too thick And the one thing with hair's ear dubbing is you always end up with a couple of guard hairs and that makes the fly look buggy. But if you think they're too long like these, just trim them and leave them sticking out a little bit. Okay. Bring our wire in. 
I counter wrap the wire just like you would with a pheasant tail. I don't know if it adds to the strength, but it can't hurt. And we'll bind that down. And I'm actually going to nick that off with the back of the scissors. Okay. Next piece. I've got, this is the synthetic I'm going to use for the wing case. And it's actually a piece of an electronics mailer envelope. So I'm just going to turn that up. And I'm going to turn the fly over because I want that on the underside. And we'll get that bound in. That all bound down tight. Okay. We're going to add some dubbing. Okay, next gonna be the legs. And I've got one piece already set. So these are gonna go kind of that way. And we're gonna kind of even the tips up a little bit. I'm gonna crisscross these. So this is gonna go this way. get another piece and get it all evened up. That's going to go this way. Got our length. Just gonna bind that down tight. Try to trim the ends as close as I can get them. And we're gonna bring our wing case up. Make a couple of wraps. Pull it up tight. Trim it. Of wraps, get everything bound down nice, and I'm just going to cover it with some dubbing. Make kind of a collar out of the dubbing.
And just a quick whip finish. I'm just going to leave that for a second. So I got some Zappa Gap and I got it open so I can get it, get the brush. And I'm just going to take my whip finisher to thread down to the end, like so. Hit that quick and drop it in there. And that should hold it. That's it. Just trim that off. So that's it. And that's the basic fly. That's how the trout's going to see it. Pretty cool. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like if you like the videos and also send in any comments that you have. I get back to everyone. <laughs>